Well, Mike, you made the big effort, came to the Bay of Islands on the Mac 600 centre console with the flames on the side. Love those flames. Yeah, it's my first time up here actually, Jeff, and um, I'm very, very impressed with it. You know, the weather's been kind to us. It has. The fishing's been good, and Ooh, um, we've had so good, good company. Me. You may have been in the wrong boat on the wrong <laughs> day, eh? I think it might have been. I think yeah. it might have been. Yeah. Look, I had a bit of a play on this boat yesterday, and it's um, it's really soft riding. Eh? I was really impressed at just how how soft it is. It's a centre console boat. They can they've got a reputation sometimes being a bit lively. This one really isn't. This is this is lovely. Yeah, we get a lot of uh, positive feedback from customers. You know, the first thing that they notice really is just how soft riding they are, Jeff. Yeah. And just how quiet the boat is as well on the water. You don't get the lapping and slapping, you yep. know, from wave action, and, and when you're coming off waves as well. And, you know, it is a very, very common um, remark actually on the boats. Yeah, no, it certainly is quite, quite lovely to ride. Beautiful, the new Honda four stroke on the back, the 100. Very impressed. Yeah, very impressed with the 100, um, the new uh, BF100 four stroke yep. motor Jeep. It pushes this boat along well. Does. Um, and it's, you know, a perfect match. It's a nice light motor, yep. but you've got the top end performance and out of the whole performance as yep. well. These, I mean, I'm a mad keen salt fly fisherman. Unfortunately, on this trip, I didn't get my chance to drag my rod on here. But the centre console is the ultimate salt fly boat. You know, you've got so much clear space up above. You can work around the front. Complete walk around boat. You know, the centre console is the fisherman's platform, really. You know, for that guy that wants to go and do a bit of everything. That, you know, back in this country, it's probably about salt fly and soft bait fishing for snapper. In Australia, it might be you know, it might be mangrove jack fishing, even barramundi fishing, so estuary fishing as well as the saltwater stuff. So, really, really versatile format. Tell me a bit more about the boat. What are the little features you've got on here that just make it that little bit extra special? Well, what we've done with this boat, Jeff, is um, you know we feel that storage is a huge um, part of boating, and you know more and more people require storage on their boats. Yep. So we've worked on that. We've got a number of storage compartments throughout this boat. Yep. Um, to allow for different applications and different gear to be stowed away, be it permanent or, or short term. So at the um, transom of the boat we've got um, two side pockets. Yep. One of them's got tackle drawers in there so you can keep the tackle, yep. keys, phone, your wallet, um, you know, a number of different items there. Right. On the um, on the other side there, Jeff, we've got the um, open um, storage pocket which you can keep life jackets on, a flare pack, first aid kit, yep. you know, any of those things you may need to get to in a hurry. Yeah. It's right there. there. Yeah. We've also got what we're sitting on is a um, it's a 120 litre um, chili chest. So yep. you, currently we're we're not um, using it for, for holding fish, Jeff. But we are um, using it to stow gear. We've got a lot of camera gear on board, and yep. um, we've got a lot of tackle as well. Yep. So that's a good place. It's a nice dry area to keep um, to keep things. Tell me a bit more about. Uh, so it's a pretty unique proposition, the plastic boat, if you like. A lot of people won't know much about it. Tell us a bit about like the manufacturing process, just just really quickly, and also exactly what we're sitting on as far as sort of hull thickness and, and how that how that's all put together. Well, what we're sitting on today is uh, the Max 600. It's um, a double skin rotational molded boat. It's one piece construction, yep. so there's no seams in there. The boat is completely foam filled, um, and that's with with PU foam. And you're looking at about a six to an eight mil wall thickness on both skins. Yep. So it's very very resilient, hard wearing. It won't rot, rust, corrode, break down in salt water. It's impervious to um, petroleum and, and fuel. So. It's a nice, nice medium to work with.
it's seriously tough these things. I've got personal experience driving um, driving early versions of these as, as, as much as 15 years ago and um, in commercial operations and uh, where we were thumping boats around and really giving them a hard time at high speed uh, against other boats at times in some of the jobs and boy they, they do just take an absolute hiding so from that point of view you're not going to want to give your boat a hiding but if you do will stand up to it and that, that's really good to know. They're a lot heavier than they look these boats. They um, Part of the reason why they're so soft riding but also that sort of the flexibility of the plastic. Flexibility is not the great word but just that kind of absorption that it has as it goes through the water it really does make a big difference. Really great boat. So pleased you guys went with the flames you know I just think that's really lifted the boat nicely. It looks hot on the water and um, great. Great. Glad, so glad you had a good time. Apparently you caught a few fish, do you want to show us? Yeah, yeah, we did catch a few fish today, Jeff. I'll, um, I'll show you what we've got, eh? So that's, uh, one, of the, that's one of the kill tanks. We've got a kingy in there, kingfish in there. Yep. Approximately um, 16 kilo yep. down there somewhere. And we've got another one on the other side. Well, you another one down there? Yeah. Two so of them? Two of them. We were a bit greedy today, but it was a first for um, one of my colleagues, Mark Cunningham. So Fantastic. We wanted to put them on a fish and um, the, the Mac boat didn't let us down today, that's for sure. That wasn't on my sequence for X, was it? Hey, you weren't there, mate. <laughs> there was a shag on the water, you can't miss it. No, I heard that. Fantastic, well done. Thanks very much. Jeff, come and have a look at this mate, we've got another kill bin up the front here. Oh yeah? Open this one up and see how we did today. Oh okay, not too bad. Not bad. I wouldn't mind getting in amongst that kind of action myself. So uh, if I wanted to get amongst the action on the Max 600 centre console, what would it cost me? Jeff, for this boat, motor and trailer package, as you see it here today, you'd be looking at around the $40,000 mark. Is that right? Yeah, it's pretty good bang for buck. Yeah! Sensational. Sensational. Like the Mac, soft on the water, quiet, stable, and we're catching fish. What else do you need? Fantastic, well done. Thanks very much. <laughs>